Hello, my name is Teme Wilson and this is the second video in the series where I look at the balloon videos from the Flat Earth community. As the community does not accept any official NASA, ESA or SO videos as proof of the Earth's curvature, what I want to do is to look their own videos for the curvature and actually compare if the apparent curvature in them matches with the globe earth model. Today I'm be looking a new balloon video from Rob Skiba. As you see here, this is a screenshot I took for analysis. Uh, in this screenshot the balloon is almost 100,000 feet up, a little over 94,000 feet as you see. I'll clip the 7.2 millimeter non fish eye lens GoPro camera pic and take that to the 3D modeling software do the comparison. Now we are in Blender where I have modeled the earth and punched in the correct settings. If you want to know more carefully what I'm done, please look at the first video where I go through all the settings. Here before rendering I'll match the camera angle and altitude with the Rob Skipas video. By the way, I'm very sorry of the bad sound quality. I have a bad mic and also I have a bad English pronunciation. Sorry about that. After rendering, I take both screenshot and the rendering to GIMP and lay them on top of each other and compare the curvature found in them. And as you can see as I scroll back and forth, you can notice that the screenshot seems to match very well with the rendering. However, the screenshot is not that high resolution. For careful analysis I would need the raw HD material from Rob Skiba. 10. Conclusion. The video material Rob Skiba made does not conflict in any way with the Globe Earth model. In fact it confirms it. It seems that Rob Skiba is shooting a globe with a radius of 3959 miles. I'll include a link to a Blender file I used here so you can try for yourself. Also, if you noticed an error, please let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and thank you Rob Skipa for some nice video material.